Sponsored by WinWing Technologies. Once again, another bright idea that balances versatility and realism. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today you've asked for a look around my and the other GR guys PC setups. So let's go. So this is my setup and it will be the worst and most dirty and most nasty out of all of them today because I'm just not really a gear guy, I just get what I need to run stuff and that's it. So where do we start? Uh, how about the non-PC stuff? We've got uh, flight helmet, boom, copper, brass various recording real life stuff, a little project, uh, the nearest I'm ever going to get to owning a real Mustang or any of those beautiful Cold War aircraft, Thrustmaster Warthog, boo, uh, files and boring stuff. Here we have Secret Project. The first rule about Secret Project is we don't talk about Secret Project. Can you guess what Secret Project is? Mm. Another secret, well not secret project, another project, a 1970s hi-fi set and speakers that I'm trying to get working. Can't get the connectors anywhere. If anyone knows where to get that connectors, please let me know. I guess I'd have to make my own. Which leaves, of course, all important stationery, heater, acoustic foam, and PC setup, twin monitors, 20, I don't know, something each, 4K, 1080p. It's not nice, it's not attractive, but you know what, it does the job keyboard, normal keyboard. Uh, my wonderful winging stuff uh, that they sent me, this is the uh, F18 setup at the moment, Super Libra Super Taurus. I've also got F16 stick and throttle around here, uh, tucked away safely in there. I've only got it set up currently for actually flying F16, so I'm back to horn it for the time being. My incredibly ridiculously new but worryingly robust headset, $15 delivered off eBay is what that costs and obviously my uh, $40 track IR is still attached to it after seven years. How ridiculous like that, that is, I have to replace the duct tape every year and that's it. So you're thinking, oh one well, idiot, yeah, well obviously I am an idiot, but uh, the thing is I've tried replacing this with numerous expensive kits and I haven't liked any of it to be honest. Always had problem with the volume of the mic, I can't get it loud enough. And I like a loud mic as you know, and if I, I just can't turn it up enough on a computer and it's always so I just send them back. Uh, anyway that's a mere problem but there you go seven year old duct tape that refuses to die. Pedals crosswind MFG I think you call them down there. Right pedal not working and broken and need repairing again. I have awful luck with uh, pedals. Um, I said my third set now printer, a mouse, computer I uh, got that about a year ago, I guess. Uh, CPU AMD 5900X, if that means something to some of you, doesn't really to me. Uh, I just got what RC told me to buy. Uh, the graphics card is 3080 NVIDIA, I believe. Uh, it's got 32 megabits of RAM, and I don't think I know anything else about it. It's sort of, it's okay. It's a, you know, game, relatively decent gaming PC. Costs about £2,000. Um, just have to get it done uh, and that's it and that's what I've run with at the moment. I've still got my terrible, terrible old track IR which is actually works fine uh, but I've got another proper track IR now which I just haven't bothered plugging in yet. I can't think of anything else interesting to say which what I'll do now is I'll terminate and pass over to the more interesting guys. Hello it's Gil here. Here's my setup. As you can see I've got lots of buttons. I don't use my keyboard and mouse when I'm flying so I try to use buttons. Got a homemade uh, mounting box that I use to mount lots of things on. Throttles, collectives, uh, Spitfire controls. Got my Viper throttle on a Monster Tech plate or mount, which I've also got my Wind Wing panels mounted to. Got a whole bunch of MFDs. I don't need the screens because I use my trusted VR, which is here it is. Uh, because I've got so many different modules that I fly, I've got lots of controls. Uh, F-18, F-14, uh, lots of Spitfire stuff down there at the bottom, some other things. So there's my desk set up, there's a Spitfire print and my doggy, Han Solo needs Carbonite, F-16 EX stick, Boba Fett. Have a look at the computer. I've had to make it powerful to run the VR. So it's a uh, Intel i7 12700K RTX uh, 3090, 64 gigabytes of RAM, 
and uh, there's some little 3D printed airplanes that Tanky made for me. Anyway, there you go. Cheers. Catch you later. Hello everyone, this is Gruntmeister here, and I'm going to show you my setup. Uh, most of it, as much as I can anyway. Alright, so this is what we have set up uh, as of April 24, 2022. Um, it's a nice, quaint little setup, not very much to it, just a lot of lights. Now, if we were to take a tour of this area, I'll show you just off tour right here. I've got my uh, aircraft collection, which I've got a lot of Ace Combat stuff that I love. Aren't those beautiful? I also have a couple of miniatures down there. Moving back to the main rig, um, as far as controllers, I've got an X56 HOTAS. That is my primary uh, drive vehicle, if you will. I've had this ever since 2018. Yeah, 2018. Um, as far as the monitor, here I've got a 49-inch Samsung ultra-wide 1440p monitor. Um, whenever I'm doing my stuff, either streaming on YouTube or doing stuff for cap, video-wise, whatever. I've just got all of this estate right here just to do what I need. OBS here on the left side. I've got most of my chat stuff will be on the right side. And right here, smack dab in the middle, I'll have my DCS setup. Now, as far as extra peripherals, uh, I mean, standard keyboard and mouse, um, Logitech G910 with a Corsair uh, Scimitar edition. I've had these ever since 2016, and... Uh-oh. Oh, that's a problem. Cap, we've got a problem. I'm out of water. I need hydration. I'm out of water. Um, what was I saying? Oh, right. Okay, so, following up with that, um, never mind the colors. I've got a couple of different, uh, color configurations going on here, but this is my primary DCS colors. You know, just it just fits everything to be green. I can't change the colors there unless I go through the master case. So on that note, I am running an H500M from Cooler Master. Um, the biggest thing I like is airflow. I've got a very laminar flow to that. With this baby rocking a i9-9900K for the uh, CPU. The GPU is a Zotac Gaming RTX 2080 Ti. I've got three different SSDs in here, one of which is a 1TB NVMe that I have DCS through, and I have my OS through. As you can see, I have a couple more lights on here just for added flare. I love it. And on top of that, just recently updated my memory sticks. So I've got uh, that nice 32 gig. I've had 32 gigs before, but uh, now they're just 2 times 16 gig, 3200 megahertz. And then as far as my lighting setup, it's just as easy as swapping over. And now I've got a different configuration. This was originally my Sea of Thieves configuration, so it's nice blue waves. Very fancy. And then with a little bit more detail on the stream deck that you might have noticed here, you might have noticed that I have my, of course, my Gruntmeister logo on here. Um, but jumping right into it, got a lot of options for this. Uh, I got my all my DCS stuff up here on the top. I got my my comms, track hat, uh, OBS, DCS, and my stream will all fire up on that top one. I've got a soundboard there, a voice recorder thing. That's my video editing uh, that keeps track of my viewers on YouTube. These are just some miscellaneous games. Over here I can swap it over and now I have my DCS profile where I can choose which aircraft I want and do multiple different things with including the UFC. That comes in really handy. But that's about all I have to say on my configuration. Again, those are my configuration settings and I hope you've enjoyed. Okay, uh, T-Cycle here for the Green Reapers. Uh, we've been asked to do uh, show and tell of our gaming rigs. So um, what you're seeing here is my rig. I'll start with the box down here. So this is a Corsair unit. Uh, I've recently, literally only in the last couple of months, uh, done a rebuild of my PC. So spec well wise, it's an Intel i7 12700K uh, with uh, 64 gigabytes of RAM. Um, running on an ASUS Hero motherboard. Um, ROG that is. Um, it's got a ASUS Noctura. GeForce 3070 graphics card in there. Pick that one because I like things to be silent, and this rig is silent. It's got um, a two. It's got a two terabyte NVMe uh, hard drive, and then if, as I come around, you can see the display. Might look mental. It is mental. This is a Samsung C49. I think it's like 49 inches cross screen, and you can see it's got a stupid aspect ratio. It's brilliant for being able to see things in the periphery. Uh, on to more stuff, so if we come down here, 
uh, zoom in a bit. You can see my headset, so I'm using a um, what is it? Arctis Pro Wireless Headset. Uh, I like this headset for several reasons. Uh, one, it's wireless and it's got a battery and it comes with two batteries. So basically, you don't, you yes, you can run out of power, but it only takes like 20 seconds to switch over. So if you're in the middle of the mission and the batteries go down, it's not a problem. Um, head tracking wise, uh, this is the Delang Clip Fusion uh, and that just clips onto the side, oh, side, clips onto the side of the uh, my headset. Okay, coming out again. Uh, what we have here is a little control panel I'm working on. I am working on building a full Harrier simulation pit. Uh, and if you want to have a look at some of my fun and games with that, please visit my channel. Um, yep. And then controls, we can see we've got the uh, Win Wing, uh, that's the Libra, I think, the joystick, the, the first generation joystick. Presently got the new F16 EX on it. Um, I'm going to give that a go. It's got more buttons than the F18, although the F18 sticks more appropriate as a Harrier fire. Then we've got the Super Taurus with the F18 on the side. And then if we look onto the actual below, we can see we have a um, MFD there with an LCD behind it, and that's actually exporting my left MFD in the game. I will be bringing the right hand one in. That's a project that's ongoing at the moment, and I'm going to reprint these cases with a black a PLA. Uh, on the left, we can see a little uh, box. That's a stream deck, uh, and then we've got another stream deck on the right. And the good thing about this is that with the Stream Deck stuff, if I say bring up something on there, we can see the um, the data is actually populated to here on the Stream Deck. So I've set that up for the uh, OSB buttons. Uh, I should also be exporting the uh, radio channels on there as well, but I haven't quite worked out why that isn't working yet. Uh, so that's my rig and it's also my workstation for work as well, my work PCs in the corner. So thank you very much and um, keep Frank safe. Hey everyone, this is scotty 2 Hotty, and re I received an invite from Cap to show you my rig. So thought I'd uh, show you around my uh, man cave slash office space slash electrical workstation space. I'm um, going to keep the majority of that stuff hidden since uh, uh, it's kind of messy. But uh, just wanted to uh, give you guys a tour. So let's check it out. For the motherboard, I'm using an Asus ROG Strix TRX40E Gaming motherboard. And for the processor, it's an AMD Threadripper 3960X with 24 cores, 48 threads. Uh, pretty badass. Uh, the RAM is G-Skill, um, running 64 gigs. Unfortunately, I only have 48 installed. Uh, one of them came bad, so working on that right now. Uh, the video card is an MSI 3080, which I installed a water block on just recently, and it has been uh, performing flawlessly. Beneath it is the Asus Hyper 16 NVMe card, allowing up to four NVMe hard drives. Uh, the only way I'm able to run this is because this particular motherboard has two separate PCI 16 lanes, which is pretty incredible considering that most of the gaming motherboards out there right now um, do not support that. If you install two cards, you go from 16 speed on your video card to 8, and the second one goes to 8 as well. But in this particular case, both are running at 16, so I'm able to run all four hard drives here. I'm um, using a uh, thermal take water pump with a 340 millimeter I believe uh, radiator uh, with uh, three fans in the front, three fans in the back for a push-pull configuration and a Corsair 240 um, again with two uh, fans up front and two in the back. Um, keeps it really really cool inside. It's like a refrigerator. And lastly we have a 140 millimeter fan going out the back. As far as the hard drive setup, um, I do have two coming on the motherboard. Um, a third one, which sticks out right here, which is a really poor design. Um, four NVMEs on the card, and then I also have one on USB-C right here. A little overkill, but I do want my speeds. Here we have the Winwing Orion 
I absolutely love this solid piece of metal. Um, so many buttons and switches and it has not let me down. Um, next is my rudder pedals. Uh, they're Logitech SciTech. Um, they work just great and also have the uh, HOTAS for the F-18 from Winming. Uh, excuse the uh, wiring mess, it is uh, a bit of a nightmare down there. And uh, yes, that is a UPS. Definitely have to keep things safe. As for my sound, I am using a Sound Blaster Katana, which I absolutely love. Uh, the surround sound is just phenomenal, and the uh, bass coming from the subwoofer is just unheard of. Um, also have a uh, Sound Blaster um, Gamer headset and a stream deck, which really comes in handy. Uh, my monitors are a little bit of a different story. Uh, I started out with a 32 inch Samsung uh, doing 1080p at 144 hertz, but because I run servers for CAP, I needed something where I could multitask at the same time, so I just went out and bought two cheap um, little monitors that uh, um, can't really display too much. Their quality is pretty crappy my hard drives. Now this is a different story. I have quite a few NVMe hard drives in my system and if you want to see the difference between the 970, uh, the Samsung 970s and the 980s, check this out. So this is my C drive running RAID 0 on Samsung 980s and here is my program drive running 970s and the huge difference uh, and again RAID 0 and another drive um, again running RAID 0 uh, but with the 980s huge transfer difference um, and for comparison this is a uh, SSD and this is another U uh, NVMe card that is connected via USB-C why all of these um, again one is for the uh, Windows, one is for programs, one's for the user files. It's a little bit excessive, I know, but I'm just trying to remove any bottlenecks. I'm not just a DCS gamer. I do a lot of video editing, 3D modeling, uh, and whatnot, uh, as well as Photoshop. So uh, I need uh, all the performance I can get. So some of these are actually scratch drives. Hello, value viewers. Armchair Pilot here with my setup. First off, my flight crew. We have Sergeant. Buster here on the right, and Corporal Penny on the left. <laughs> now onto the PC. In the PC, I have a Ryzen 7 5800X, the 5700XT, and 64 gigabytes of RAM. Two monitors, 27 inch and a 34 inch ultra wide 1440p, both from MSI. Track IR, vertical SEM from BKB. I use the Thrustmaster T600 throttle, the VKB Gunfighter Mark III base with the Modern Combat Ultimate Grip, both on Monster Tech mounts, on the Secret Lab chair, as well as the VKB T-Rudder pedals.